Alright boys, you light a fear. I've got this camera on a tripod. Let's see if I can get this right here. Alright, center of that camera there. Now I've got this thing set on 160X. Alright, center of the camera. Now you're going to see two shots to the right and a little low. Don't pay no attention to them. You see those shots there above that is slightly to the left. That's 103 yards shot with a Maverick 22 caliber. Disclaimer, that group you see right there is about seven shots with a little variant headwind. And I shot it with nine and nine and a quarter dialed up for MOA. So the group was shot with nine and nine and a quarter dialed up. Okay, I don't know how fast that gun is shooting exactly. I suspect it's somewhere around 955 to 960. Okay. You see what it did there? And some of those shots were shot on 14X and some were shot on 24 as well. Now those two on the, you'll see two there to the lower and right. Those are not part of the group that I shot over there with that rifle. You can see the leaves on them bushes up there moving, okay? I monitored the wind with a cigarette smoke, some slight cutting wind, most of it a slight head wind, okay? That's pretty damn good right there, boys. A squirrel at 103 yards wouldn't want me shooting at him with that gun right there, okay? Again, that's 160X on the camera. Now, I'm going to touch the camera to verify that. The image may move. That's 160X. I'm going to start backing the camera off. That's 52X. I'll zoom it back up. Okay. Now, my hammer spray on that aftermarket is running a little under five with about 122 123 on the rear rig all right now it's a little cooler this morning you know temperature out here is not 95 degrees all right 90 it's not that hot all right that's not too bad, consider now variable, variable headwinds, slight variable headwinds, sometimes a little stronger than others, but not super strong. I wouldn't sh try to judge the gun, shoot it into a hurricane force headwind or a tailwind, okay? Now, I can't tell you what size group that is up there, okay? Looking at this camera, but judging by that top hole, you know, that's, that's fairly tight, okay? We're gonna cut this camera off briefly. There's the gun that did the shooting, and there's the ammo. Oh, sharpshooter's just about ready to call it quits, and he's not gonna chase his tail with this gun. As good as it's shooting these knockout slugs, I do have some two one sixes coming that I may shoot a few of. I may shoot a few of the two one eight. Those two one sevens right there look pretty good, boys. Okay. Now, with the current settings in this gun, I've not shot it under ideal conditions on paper at a hundred yards. I've not done that. Okay, and I've not indexed this barrel on this gun either. I may do that. I know what it looks like at 50. I got a pretty good idea what it looks like at 103 right now. So, yeah, I may play with it. I have marked my barrel. I put a black magic marker on the bottom. Bottom of the barrel, the slug port side up there, you know, when you take off that cap or that screw, okay?